Now there will do. Mr. Quigley, are you quite certain you don't want the bucket a little closer? Quite certain. Fine, you're hired. Welcome back to another Under Pressure. Today, I am really excited to be joined by Chris Turek of Up North Air Gunner fame. He's got a great YouTube channel. He's done a ton of work uh, with big boars, with the Texan line in particular, done a lot of research, done a lot of hunting, and uh, a lot of development in the industry. So thanks for coming. Absolutely, Travis. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us, uh, tell us what we've got here. We've just barely got this in, but you actually got one ahead of us, <laughs> and uh, and have had a little bit of experience with it. So what have we got here? So Travis, uh, today we're looking at the new Air Force Texan uh, 45 caliber with the new carbon fiber bottle and the TX2 valve. So yeah, carbon fiber bottle, and it can be pressurized to 3,625 PSI. And pairing that with the new TX2 valve, you're getting some pretty massive energy from this thing. Huge, huge numbers. I mean, you were telling me about a video that uh, the Cameron from Air Force did. Yeah, so I mean, I was pretty excited just to hear about it, but when uh, Cameron sent me this video clip of shooting 520 grain slugs at 800 feet per second, it's like 740 something foot pounds of that energy. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, so you know, I know as an industry, we've been waiting for that 700 plus foot pounds of energy gun, and like, here it is. And, and the great thing about this is that it's all standard from the manufacturer. Absolutely. Lifetime warranty. So, you know, you probably watch my YouTube channel. I do a lot of tinkering with mine and this one right out of the box, lifetime warranty. And, you know, with a really heavy slug, you're getting over 700 foot pounds of energy with this thing. So super excited. Um, as a hunter, I'm excited about that really flat trajectory on these slugs and massive expansion on hollow points. So that's what so, it's all about. So you can shoot like the 350 grain NSA slug that's so accurate and still shoot it really fast, really flat. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Now, for those of you who have already bought Texans, you're not left out, you can buy this. We'll have it available as a separate option. You can buy the carbon fiber tank, uh, just screw it into your gun and you're ready to go. There is one caveat though. Uh, the carbon fiber, the CF series of, of Texans, do come with a heavier hammer spring here. So what that means is uh, if you get your carbon fiber tank, put it on your Texan, and fill it up to 3600 PSI, 3625, then you're going to experience some valve lock with projectiles, say, under you know, 290, 300 grains. So if you do do that, we recommend that you get the carbon fiber tank, fill it up to around 3300, 3350, and, uh, and then you can shoot those lighter projectiles without experiencing any valve lock. Yeah. Now with the heavy projectiles, you guys know how Texans work, uh, a lot of the, you know, the, the hammer spring becomes a little bit less important because of the back pressure that that heavy, heavy projectile creates, which pushes that valve open longer and sends it out. So you'll be able to shoot these 500 grain, mm -hmm. 400 grain slugs uh, without any, you know, without much of a difference. The hammer spring becomes less important at that point. So you can buy the tank, screw it in and start shooting 
just remember that caveat that with the, the lighter slugs, you'll want to fill it to a little bit lower pressure. Now we're still getting about the same amount of shots, mm -hmm. right? In 45 caliber, you're getting you know two or three shots, and you know at 50 yards, you're still pretty much on. Right. You know, out to 100 yards, you're going to have to hold over for that you know third shot in particular, right? Exactly. And it, it's a deer hunting or big game hunting or um, pig hunting, um, it, it, you're not out there taking a whole bunch of shots. And if you are, you're, you yeah, need to you go need, back to the range. If you need more than two shots, you're, yeah. you know. So, you know like what? The, it's not like the rifle hunt, no. the deer hunt, where people are just lobbing them in there. I mean, nine shots, 12 shots on an elk. I mean, these people are just out of control. I mean, it, it really is. It's just like you've been watching too much YouTube. <laughs> Not our channel, but other YouTube channels. I'm not going to mention which ones, but it's ridiculous. Get a grip on yourselves. If you're watching this, get a grip. Look in the mirror, take a close look, do a little introspection, figure out what kind of person you are, it's okay. okay? It's okay, man. It's okay. And if I'm standing 100 yards away from an elk on top of a ridge, and you're 900 yards parked by a road with a lady in a white t-shirt jogging about 10 yards behind you and you're just lobbing shells in until you finally hit that elk because you just saw me top out on that ridge and I got ricochets whizzing by my head. Take a close look in the mirror, my friend. What kind of person are you? I'll tell you, but not on camera. Here at Airgun Depot, we support ethical hunting and would like to apologize for Travis's outburst. We would like to assure all of our viewers that Travis is now off decaf coffee. Well, Chris, through some unfair twist of fate, you've been able to shoot this gun already, but I haven't. Uh, so where are we gonna go? You know what, we're in Utah, so I say let's go to the desert. Okay, let's do it. Before that though, we're gonna go to the range, we're going to get your chronograph results and see what kind of energy this thing is putting out. Okay, Chris. Uh, you've got here the biggest air gun slug that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's, that's a pretty big piece of lead. I mean, this is 520 grains of uh, just pure massive awesomeness. So, um, made by Mr. Hollow Point, and uh, whenever I get an Air Force text and I really like getting the biggest piece of lead I can just to see how much foot pounds of energy I can get out of my gun. Uh, it's typically not the slug I would hunt with, but it's always fun to see what it'll do. Yeah, I mean, for hunting, you, I know that you've talked about this a lot of times, but you want something that's going to be nice and flat, uh, that gives you a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more forgiveness in range estimation and everything, right? Exactly. So in, in hunting, and if you ever use like the, uh, the chair gun app, there's something called the kill zone. And it's basically, it's the, the, it's the trajectory of your slug that's going to come in and out of that kill zone. And so you really want to have that slug stay within that zone as much as possible. So for like a white-tailed deer, you know, that zone is roughly a you know, six to eight inch, you know, size, you know, for the vitals. So, um, so for something like that, I really do like shooting 350 grain or the 290 grain slugs. Um, another big reason is with these soft lead projectiles, they really start opening up above 850 feet per second. So you really want to be having something that can go above 850 feet per second to get as much expansion as possible. Well, we're not worried about any of that right now, are no, we? we're not. We just want to see how freaking powerful this thing is. Yeah, so let's just see how awesome this thing really is. All right, here we go. Now that's smoking. <laughs> that is some I mean, serious power. I mean, for this enormous chunk of lead, I mean, that is a ton of power. That is insane. I mean, you know, the Air Force Texan has been the most powerful air gun, you know, on the market ever since it came out, and this just took it to the next level. Um, you know, for me, the foot-pounds of energy, you know, that's awesome bragging rights, but that is literally flattening out your trajectory with something like this or like the 290s. I mean, that is just a laser beam to a deer or whatever you're shooting at. So yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, and, and you're gonna get the, a little bit better expansion and yeah. and everything here. Now, this is not the fastest we've seen the Texans do. No, I mean- With this new uh, bottle. Exactly, you know, I was talking with Cameron the other day and he sent me a video clip of him shooting that 520 grain slug at um, 800 feet per second, which is like 700 and 
40 foot pounds of energy or something like that. It was just ridiculous. So yeah, now Cameron, I mean, I, I know he's figured out the, where the power wheel and everything needs right. to be. This is just straight, literally out yeah, of the box. Exactly. We just pulled this out of the box. I didn't do anything with the hammer spring tension. So, you know, playing with that a little bit, but I mean, those are some impressive numbers. That is very impressive. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's exciting stuff. Yeah. Now we're out in the West Desert. We can shoot as far as we want. I've got a soda can set up at 300 yards. We're shooting the Nielsen, the rebated boat tail, 350 grain slugs. They're extremely accurate in this gun if you've watched our other video on, on, the, on the Texan LSS. So let's see how it goes. I'm not quite dialed in, but we'll, uh, we'll see if we can work it in here. Wow. Got it. <laughs> now, the LSS has really impressed me. You couple it with the new carbon fiber bottle and you have just the ultimate big bore air gun in my opinion. This thing is so incredibly accurate, it's, it just blows me away. The foot pounds that we're getting with this new tank is, uh, you know, just astonishing. Up into uh, the 700 foot pound range, I mean, passing that huge 700 foot pound mark. Really, really impressive here. I mean, shooting that can, it was just, you know, you know sending the lead out. And, you know, I, I had overcompensated my scope quite a bit. I thought I was going to have to hold a lot higher than I did. It, you know, still at 300 yards, uh, you know, a, a much more flat trajectory than I thought I was going to get. So Chris couldn't come out with me to shoot. Uh, you know, he had to go back and shoot some more deer up in Michigan. I really want to thank him for coming out. Uh, make sure you check out his YouTube channel, Up North Air Gunner. He posts a lot of great videos. You know, he's got a lot of good hunting tips and techniques and, and uh, you know, a lot of knowledge on the big bore platforms here, especially the Texan. So to sum up, with the carbon fiber tank, you're getting, uh, you know, in 45 cal, you get the TX2 valve. The carbon fiber tank is going to get you more power. It's going to get you more energy. You know, depending on how you have it set up, you can get more shot count. But, uh, you know, with the way we have it here, shooting these big projectiles, you're still getting about the three shots that you normally get. They're just going faster. Now, the difference between 700 foot-pounds and 600 foot-pounds isn't huge. I mean, it's, it's pretty significant, um, but 600 foot-pounds is enough to kill most of the big game that you're going to be hunting, you know, with, with, with this air gun. Uh, the, what the 700 foot-pounds does, as Chris points out, is gives you the flatter trajectory, which makes your shots a little bit more forgiving if you haven't ranged them quite right. And, uh, and that's just incredibly valuable for hunting. The gun's a little bit lighter. My one quibble and my one complaint about this is that the carbon fiber tank is a little shorter than the original tank. And so the length of pull for me is a little short. You know, typically, you know, length of pull, I like the, you know, the butt to be kind of right in the crook of my elbow. That's kind of a good rule of thumb in general. And, you know, as this one you can see is, is a fair bit shorter. Now, I've got pretty long arms. I've got a longer length of pull than the vast majority of you, so you won't have the same, uh, you know, issues and impressions of it that I do. But I would like to see Air Force, uh, you know, incorporate a longer piece here. This stock's adjustable. This piece is adjustable. You can do a lot of adjustment, but I'd like to see it get out a little farther. That would make it just a little bit more comfortable for me. But again, that's personal, and overall, this is just a fabulous gun for me. It's the ultimate big bore air gun, accurate, powerful. With the LS, in the LSS version, it's quiet. Uh, you know, just really remarkable. If you're into, if you're wanting to get into big bore air hunting, or uh, 
you know, just, just lobbing out uh, lead in long ranges, this is a fabulous platform to get into. Make sure, uh, you know, if you like this video, to like, subscribe. We appreciate that. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.